is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN. Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes in the trading day, and we have markets slightly in the red right now. You get the S&Ps off by 26 points. I bring it up on a Fibonacci basis on a 15-minute chart. We're basically back right at the 382, which is also right for the spike high we had at about 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday when the Fed made their announcement. That's right where we are right now at 57.50, and that is from the low of Wednesday afternoon, which remarkably is 56.74. You trade up almost 125 points to the highs of yesterday, but markets giving back some of those gains this morning. s and is off by 28. That's about a half a percent in the red. NASDAQ 100, we're off by 100. That's a half a percent as well, right on the dot. You get the Dow off by 142. That's three tenths percent. And the Russell off by eight tenths percent right now. The Russell coming into yesterday's low from about 10 a.m. Eastern time. Crude. Trading down 76 cents. We're trading at 70.39 coming into the weekend. You got gold catching a bid this morning. We trade up to 26.44 on gold. We've backed off a bit to 26.30. That's an all time high on gold. We're still up by $16 right now on the session. Silver trades up to 31.75. You give up some of that gain as well. Technically negative right now for silver on the session at 31.35, negative seven pennies. And notes and bonds. We're pushing the lows of yesterday with lower price, higher yield. You get the 10-year right now. Negative by three ticks. Trading at 114.20. And that has a yield of 3.75%. You jump over to the dollar index. And we got a little bit of dollar strength. That's the move that's driving gold lower in the recent action. The dollar pushing 101 almost. We're at 100.90 right now. Up from the lows of almost 100.40 in the overnight. That's where you saw gold push those all-time highs, right? You want to see gold run? You're going to see. You're going to have to. You're not have to. It was. You're going to want a weaker dollar. Pretty simple to see where gold spiked at 100.40. You got the dollar climbing a little bit higher right now, as we got a little bit of higher yield right now. So higher yield, a little bit of dollar strength. Gold giving back some of those gains marginally. We'll jump around to some of the movers of the day right now. FedEx off by 15%. Lennar shares, negative by 5% right now. Nike with a new CEO, up by 6%. Constellation Energy, they're putting nuclear energy back in action, up by 14%. Microsoft, exclusive rights to that deal at Three Mile Island, as I talked about during the show. Microsoft, down by 4 tenths percent. Stay tuned, folks. Basil did his show at 8 o'clock. That's coming up right now. We got our man Steve Rhodes after that.